Hi, today I'm going to have a look at SCSI drive replacements uh, using SD cards. Uh, what I've got here is called the Blue SCSI. It's uh, based, based on the Blue Pill device, which is here, and reads off the SD card. So you've got your 50 pin SCSI connector there. This is designed for Macintosh machines, but I wanted to see how it would go on of X's and alphas. So I've now got it plugged into the SCSI B bus on this fax station. We'll see what happens. Okay, we've got our local disc in there and DKB 100 and 200 which are on the SD card. So let's run the formatter. B one. So that appears to run fine. Okay, I've just started VMS. Let's have a look at the disks. See the two disks there. Recognises the disk. Yeah, it crashes. This happens every time. So the SCSI driver under VMS obviously doesn't like what the card is sending back. So, yep, I haven't been able to get this to work at all, even though the console sees it and the SCSI formatter likes it and you can see it under VMS. As soon as you try and do anything to it, initialize it, mount it, whatever, it crashes. Anyway, let's move it over to the Alpha and see if I have any better luck there. Okay, I've now plugged the Blue SCSI into the Alpha Server 1000 and we'll see what happens on this one. The Blue SCSI doesn't show up at all on the Alpha Server, unfortunately. I'll try it on the Ease SCSI card, which is an Adaptec. And we're getting some strange results on the Adaptec SCSI card. It shows up on this one, but it shows a lot of devices. There's only two there, but it's showing the other 101, 102, 103, etc. And it doesn't work anyway, it just says they're offline. So, looks like Blue SCSI is no good for VMS systems. Thought I'd give it a try anyway. Hope you found that interesting and we'll catch up with you next time.